Hey everybody, it's John Legend here. You know me from The Voice. I'm a new coach. You know my music. I have a brand new song out, it's called Preach. And I wanna thank everybody who's been submitting questions for Steve Harvey's Ask Anything chat. Thanks to Steve, thanks to everybody for having me on the show, and I'm gonna to get to your questions. All right, let's check them out. It's a good question for Women's History Month. Sheridan from NYC wants to know if I could share some female artists and other women who've been the source of influence and inspiration for me. Yes, I will start with my grandmother. My grandmother who passed away when I was fairly young, I was about 10 or 11 years old when she passed away, but she was one of my early influences as a musician. She played the organ at my church growing up and um, she used to teach me songs, teach me how to play. And when you listen to my style of playing, it was heavily influenced by her. Um, some other artists that you know better, um, people like Aretha Franklin have been very influential to me, Nina Simone, and really many more, Lauren Hill, um, just to name a few. Next question. This is very relevant. Nina from Toronto asks, if I was on the Family Feud, who would be my other four team members? It's funny that you mention that because I've already taped an episode of the Family Feud and Chrissy was on my team, my older brother Ron, Chrissy's older sister Tina, and Chrissy's mom Pepper. We were all on the team together. If it was just my side of the family, it might be a little different. You know, a few other people from Ohio would be on the team. But uh, it was a blended version of our family. Some of Chrissy, some of mine. And honestly, it was all the people that live on the West Coast because it was easier to get them there. <laughs> okay. Jordy from Chicago says, Luna and Miles are growing up so much. What of yourself and Chrissy do you see in each of them? And what aspects of their personalities are completely uniquely theirs? Well, it's hard to tell what's uniquely theirs because we do see a lot of ourselves in them. Um, I think Luna has a lot of Chrissy's sense of humor and sense of play, and she really has a lot of Chrissy's personality. And Miles, I mean, his vocabulary is dada and baba, baba, something like that, blah, blah. So um, it's unclear what his personality is fully, but he seems to be pretty mellow. He doesn't cry very much. He smiles a lot. So in that sense, he's like daddy, and he looks like me. We all can admit that. <laughs> so Brittany from Dallas has a very simple factual question. How tall am I? I'm 5'10". And this seems to surprise people when they see me in person because for some reason on television, I look shorter than 5'10". So when I meet people at the airport and random places, they're like, oh, you're much taller than I expected. I'm like, how tall did you think I was? How short did you think I was? 5'10", not that tall, but not that short either. Anyway, Jana from Sweden, she says, what would you say has been the greatest lesson you've learned, both positive and negative, from your life and career? It's hard to distill it down to one great lesson. I think, um, you know, I just learn as I go. I learn from my collaborators. I learn from people like Quincy Jones, who told me, steal from the best. That means... Don't be afraid to be influenced by other artists that you look up to. Um, you'll start off being really heavily influenced by them, but then as you grow into your own artists, you'll, you'll really forge your own way. Um, and then things I've learned negatively, I don't know. I think um, it's important to be your own person, to know who you are. Don't get too caught up in the, the hype and all the noise. And uh, don't let the negativity on social media um, overwhelm you because sometimes if you just read your mentions and and you know people are upset with you it can kind of cloud the way you look at the world you have to realize that's only a small small subsection sub segment of the people Courtney from Newark says are you and your wife going to have more kids I think so I hope so at least one more Edward from Oak Leaf, Texas says, what is it like to be an EGOT? It's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll take it. 
Um, you know, I never expected to be an EGOT winner. I didn't even know what that meant when I started my career. But, um, you know, we started with Grammys, of course. I'm in the music business first and foremost. But as we um, started building our production company, Get Lifted Film Company, we started getting involved in more television projects, film projects, um, Broadway. And uh, it's been really fun collaborating with so many great artists and filmmakers and creators. And uh, when you work with great people and try to make great content, then the awards come. And I'm really grateful for the EGOT. It's really a sign that um, I've been really fortunate and blessed to work with some great people. Okay. Elijah from Parkville, Maryland says, Hey, Mr. Legend, I'm Elijah, and I'm a young singer who admires your work tremendously. What does it take to make it in the music industry? Well, it takes a lot. I think, first of all, do what you're doing now, which is practicing, preparing yourself for the opportunity. They say luck is when opportunity meets preparation. So your job right now is to prepare yourself and then put yourself in situations, whether it's through networking or meeting people, whatever you do, um, to... Um, to show off what you've been preparing for all these years. So start off with being great, practicing, collaborating, rehearsing, doing all the things that make you better. And then uh, make sure you meet the right people so you can get in the right rooms to be heard by the right people. And uh, if you do that and you do it with tenacity and persistence, I think it can work out for you. Brianna from Richmond says, what's my favorite lullaby to sing to the kids? I don't usually sing to them when it's time to go to bed. I usually sing when I change their diapers or we sing downstairs when we're having fun. Luna loves listening to my Christmas album downstairs. Um, but when it's time for them to go up and go to bed, we read, we keep things mellow, and I don't sing. And now I just wanna thank Steve again for having me on the show. Thank you all for giving me these great questions. Hopefully you learned some more things about me and uh, make sure you check out my new single, Preach and follow me on The Voice and vote for Team Legend. Of course, you're gonna do that. Love you guys.